Joining me now is Priyank Karge, the Minister for ITBT here in uh, Bengaluru. Sir, uh, you know, in terms of when we talk of the startup ecosystem and the economy per se, how, how, what do you see the state government's role per se? Because a lot of it is the central government, it's the state government coordination that's, that needs to exist. How do you see the state government's role uh, in terms of this entire ecosystem in Bangalore? Oh, well, I think uh, I beg to differ with you on that aspect that the central government dependency is there. It's of course only for the import duty part of it and other major uh, policy. But uh, Karnataka has always been the leaders in formulating policy. We drafted the first IT policy, we drafted the first biotechnology uh, policy, we have an EV policy in place, we have a battery manufacturing policy in place, we are coming up with the state specific uh, space tech policy, the AVGC policy. These are all things that we have done much before the central uh, government and uh, our uh, startup ecosystem is uh, uh, and our research ecosystem and our innovation ecosystem is uh, much much more mature than uh, any other ecosystems in uh, uh, India because of the policies that we have got so a lot of things uh, that Niti Aayog is doing now or uh, the previously the planning commission has suggested has been borrowed from us so I think we have uh, we have always been the pioneers in uh, technology and uh, we intend to maintain our leadership position and you followed this very closely not just in this term even in your last term in office as well where do you see are the critical challenges as far as Bangalore is concerned? As you point out, it's the leader in the in the country in terms of uh, this entire ecosystem. But how do you maintain that leadership? What is the key challenges? Ahead? No, I agree. Right now, we have competition right from Chhattisgarh to China. But uh, I think uh, we understand that. Uh, extremely well and we are always a couple of steps ahead so we are concentrating heavily on skilling in emerging uh, emerging technologies we are talking to the industry asking them that, uh, what kind of skill sets they want and we are uh, partnering with them extensively to ensure that uh, we have the best human resources um, uh, future ready not just for uh, the Indian ecosystem but for the global ecosystem so uh, if you see probably in the year you will have the most employable human resource in the world coming from Karnataka. All right, my last question to you. There is always a competition and question about Hyderabad. Telangana is on the pole uh, sector and Karnataka has been discussed quite closely. You think Bengaluru can retain its advantage or other cities are going to catch up? No, we, see, we love competition. It helps us uh, uh, keep... Uh, a st uh, strict vigil on uh, the ongoings in the industry. Having said that, uh, I would strongly urge you to read the data between Hyderabad and uh, uh, Bengaluru. I think there's nowhere in uh, comparison. We contribute close to around 42% uh, of uh, IT exports. We have 65% uh, of uh, aerospace and defense uh, manufacturing. In machine tool manufacturing, we have, again, close to around 51%. Uh, percent. Biotechnology uh, exports and services are, again, close to 60%. Percent. We have 25,000 startup, uh, uh, startups here. They have probably around uh, eight to 10,000. We have 15,000 registered startups with government of Karnataka. They have close around 6,000. Uh, we have 47 unicorns, they have 4. We have 57 soon-to-be unicorns, they have none, I'm, uh, I'm assuming, because I, the report did not read. In the Innovation Index, we have always been number one. In the World in uh, Innovation Index by Startup Blink, we are number eight. I think they're number 38, 30 or 40 somewhere. somewhere. So, uh, take any parameter that you would wish to see, and we are miles ahead. That doesn't mean that uh, uh, we don't have to watch our back, and uh, we are doing just that.